Welcome back to Maker Camp, week three, day three. It's Farmstead Week, and today we're going to learn how to build some really cool stuff, like a geodesic dome that you can turn into a greenhouse, or a shelter for your alpacas and paper building blocks. We're going to learn how to make some really strong structures. Oh, strong structures, huh? Ha. I am prepared for that. <laughs> Top that. Burke, I'm an engineer. Did you think that I would leave home without a popsicle stick structure? Because that's like leaving home without pants. What? <laughs> oh, it's on. It's so on. I've got this. Oh, it's so easy. You cheated! Or did I think about the strength of my structure and reevaluate to reinforce it? Probably. Well, whatever. Let's go to Emily's quick tips where she'll show you how to use tons of different building materials or whatever.
Emily. Hey, campers, if you combine these quick tips with today's project, you're going to geodecimate the competition. Don't forget, campers, at the end of the week, we're going to give a blue ribbon to your strongest structure. So be sure to build something that can stand the test of time. Ooh, like the pyramids? Uh, not really. A little less pointy or pharaoh-y. Hi, today we're going to build domes. We're building lots of domes over here, but unfortunately they're top secret. So I'm just going to show you one of the domes you can build. So we're going to build a 2V dome, which means it's not as complex as you can do. There's 3V, 4V, 5V, etc. You can just Google it and see how that works. But these domes were invented by Buckminster Fuller way back, and they're really efficient structures. Perfect for, for example, uh, uh, greenhouses and things like that, or space stations, of course. So, what you need first is to uh, cut up all your straws. You need the two sizes we specified in sheets. You need uh, six of the fives, and there's a typo in your instructions, so six of these. And then you need uh, 20 of the number three version. You need 40 single straw beads and uh, 10 double straw beads. So get all your pieces first and then you can start building. There we are, we have our 2V geodesic dome. Strong and done. So this is how it's supposed to look. so much done. You sure did. What'd you figure out today, Paloma? That if you ever do anything weird or useless, call it art. So that's what happens every time you engineer a robot that cries. You know, sometimes it's nice to have machines with feelings. Oh, like Wally or Arnold Schwarzenegger. Anyway, what'd you make today, Paloma? I made a box like the one out of Emily's Quick Tips. Boy, me too. What a coinky dink. Ha, huh, how's that work? 
Yeah, I used um, uh, several different patterns for this, and it seems to make a nice shiny kind of difference between dark and light. Yeah, that one, if you use shiny paper, it could look like metal. So you like if you're building them together, you can make like a castle or something and make yeah. it look like stone or out of metal. Uh, I chose to use really bright different colors because sometimes when you're putting them together, it's hard to figure out which one, wh like which flaps go where. So if you use bright colors, it's really easy to be able to figure that out. Yeah, and you're going to want to make sure that you build a ton of these, just kind of like how we did the pinwheels the other day. Yeah, you could get all your friends together and do an assembly line to make a ton of them, and then you can have a whole huge, awesome structure. And, you know, if you want to do a project today and maybe these are too simple or something else is too hard, you can go to MakerCamp.com and we've got a whole list of projects you can check out. And I really want to see what you do to customize them. You know, you could take your geodesic dome and put saran wrap on it to make a greenhouse, or maybe put a pole in the center to make an umbrella. Just go crazy with it. Now let's check out what you did with yesterday's ideas. Wow, campers, that's some really great stuff you have there. Now that we have a plethora of Bigfoots, big feet, big feet, how, how do you pluralize that? I think it depends on whether Bigfoot is a proper noun. What do you think, campers? Be sure to upload your photos and videos to MakerCamp.com so you too can become internet famous and Charlie will bite your finger. Gross. You can leave your questions and comments for me, Paloma, a person who has still not seen Indiana Jones because you hyped it up too much. What's wrong with you? Deal with it! How do you even live? Hashtag deal with it! What planet are you from? That's impossible. No. Go Maker Camp, hashtag Google Plus, Twitter. Oh, you didn't see it? See you tomorrow, campers.